Welcome to MrWirk.com. I'm your host, Navjot Singh. So today we'll basically go through one of my articles, which I have written like a small solution to bring you the age in years, months, days from date of birth of a person. So it's going to be a pure vanilla JavaScript solution. We're not going to be using any libraries. That's the sole purpose of this. Um, it's going to be very simple and we're going to be writing this on code pen. So I have written the code already and posted the code on the tutorial with a very, very deep um, instructions. So if you're watching the video, definitely click, click the link below the video and you should be able to go to the article where I have posted details on the article. Uh, if you would uh, fancy that, otherwise uh, just follow the video as I go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into CodePan and try to explain you how to do this. Let's go in. So the first thing we're going to do here is create a div, give it an ID, and we're going to call it placeholder. Uh, and it's going to say change date of birth in JS, which means it gives you an idea that you have to change it here. Uh, you can see a result, results over here. You can see the age is uh, 24. So this is basically my age. So I have put in my date of birth, which is March 1st, 1995. And it tells me that I'm 24 years old. And in total, 288 months old, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and then age in days, so I'm 8,760 days old, roughly. Um, because we're not uh, taking into care a couple of things which which I'll um, discuss in the tutorial and then hours, seconds and milliseconds. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna use the date.parse method of JavaScript. Let's quickly jump into what it is. So date.parse method returns the number of milliseconds between January 1st, 1970 and whatever the date you provide. In this case, these guys are providing this date basically. And it's compatible with Chrome and this is Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, Opera. So basically the syntax is date.parse and date string, which would be this. And what else would be good here? So this is pretty basic stuff. Let's jump right back into the code. So I'm naming things uh, in a way so they're more readable. So I'm saying milliseconds between date of birth and 1970. So we're going to use the date.parse method. Going to give it the DOB. So let's actually change it and see if the results update. So let's say if we change it to 1880 so I would have been 139 years old <laughs> if that was correct perfect let's change it back perfect goes back to normal and then what we do is we say milliseconds between now and 1970. So date dot now method is very similar to date dot parse method method. So it gives you milliseconds between now, which is the date today, and 1970. So from here the com computation becomes very easy. So I'm, what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna define a, another variable and I'm gonna say age in milliseconds. So with these two variables, we're able to get the date of birth in milliseconds and now between the 1970s. So from this, I'm going to subtract milliseconds between date of birth and 1970 from milliseconds between now and 1970. So this is basically going to give me my age in milliseconds. From here, things become very, very similar, uh, simple. I'm going to define another variable to make it more consistent and nice to look. So we're going to say var milliseconds equal age in milliseconds. So we're going to define 
we're going to assign the value to this variable and then we can say okay we know in programming a second is equals to thousand and then a minute is going to be second into 60 so a minute has 60 seconds similar we're going to say r equals minute into 60 because an hour has 60 minutes for same for the day a day has 24 hours month a month has 30 days so what i'm going to using here is 30 days as base value we're not taking into consideration uh leap years uh and for example the thir some months would have say 31 days as well and february usually has 28 or 29 days so we're going to be using a prox here uh, and because this will be a different computation in itself if you guys want that leave a comment down below and if there's enough demand what i'll do is i'll write a better solution to actually have a very precise result and then we know a year has 365 days <clears throat> sorry uh then what we're gonna do is do do the age conversion basically here we were basically defining uh all our units here we're gonna do the age conversion so we're gonna say year equals math dot round and we're gonna pass the milliseconds that we got from here which is this and then we're gonna divide it by year so our code is gonna be able to figure out what a year is so it's day by 365 so this could have been written something like this as well so this could have been <sighs> This could have been something like this and it still works but the thing is the code doesn't look uh, that nice and it's, it's less readable so it's nice to have things well defined and from there it's a very user friendly way uh, of coding and people can really understand your code. Then month, months, basically we have the years by now and we can divide by 12 to get that days we can divide the we can multiply uh, the years with 365 so again we're not taking into consideration the leap year let me know in comments if you need a precise uh, solution we can do that um, the main purpose of this solution is to kind of give you uh, a starting point to how to calculate the age and from there you can move forward to make it advanced by yourself or you can ask for help from others or from me from me we do the same for seconds we're gonna simply divide the milliseconds by second and that gives us uh seconds uh our age in seconds and here I'm, what i'm doing is a it's a bit of a uh preference but what i did was i just made a function which is print results and uh, it says var message and I basically construct the message here which is basically a string then it's a simple thing which is document dot get element by id so from here we're getting the this div element and we're gonna recognize it here and we're gonna say placeholder and we use the inner html property and we say equals message so we assign the value of this variable which is this and we say when the window loads print results basically and that prints the results for us here so guys that was a quick uh, description uh, or let's say quick explanation of how to uh, calculate age in years months days and even seconds and milliseconds um, when you have a person's date of birth so this is me Navjot from mrwake.com please don't forget to like the video if this helped and sub subscribe the channel for more and there will be a link to this tutorial where i explain more um uh, please do visit the tutorial and thanks for watching